helpful to know the background on a, 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 how a wedding in Israel took place. A, um, when night would fall, the bridegroom would leave his house or his parents' house, and he would go to the house of the bride, of his bride. Now, he would go through the town or the village to the home of the bride, and he would bring the bride to his home. And, and there they would celebrate the wedding. Now, it, it's, it's dark, and you needed these lamps so you could see where you were going. Otherwise, you get, you get lost, you get hurt. Um, so the, the oil lamps were, were necessary to make the, the journey with the bridegroom back to the house of the bride, uh, back to the wedding. And so the, the um, parable tells about ten virgins who set out to meet the bridegroom. Five were wise, they had plenty of oil. Uh, five were foolish, they were not well prepared. And after a long night of waiting, uh, bridesmaids fell asleep. Um, and when they awoke, like we say, when the bridegroom came after a long delay, they weren't ready. Um, and now the point for us is that we await our bridegroom, Jesus Christ, and he's delayed in coming, his second return, his second coming. Some await him foolishly. Some await him wisely. Like suddenly he appears. But some people await him foolishly. Uh, some people await him wisely. And what are all the ways that we keep the light of faith burning brightly? Uh, prayer, the sacraments, acts of charity, adoration, spiritual reading, corporal and spiritual works of mercy. Those are all the ways that we keep our lamps lit and our oil in good supply. All the ways the life of Jesus remains alive in us. Well-stocked lamps. Okay. Um, so this divine oil is given in baptism first and then through the sacraments, but like we say, through, through those other means also can keep that fire burning for a long time throughout our lives. The foolish ones are those who allow that life to ebb and to die, that, that fire of God's love to, to die out in them, to be extinguished in them. And so the question we ask when we hear this gospel is how often do we pray? Uh, you know, do we attend Mass regularly, receive the sacraments, go to confession? Okay. Are, are we well stocked? as far as prayer and do we study, uh, spiritual reading, uh, the, like we say, the works of mercy. The point of the gospel is that that light, divine light, can go out in us. Okay? It's a dreadful truth that God's life can be extinguished in us. And, and the foolish virgins ask the wise virgins, give us some of your oil but it's really not transferable. Okay? There are certain things that we have to do for ourselves, and, and borrowing the light of grace from others is not one of the things that we, we can uh, borrow from other people. Um, oil is not transferable. <clears throat> one, one priest, Father Barron, talks about maybe a, a program to keep the oil of life, uh, oil burning in our lamps and well stocked with oil. Uh, be a person of regular prayer, stay close to the sacraments, confession especially, uh, and don't let grudges, resentments fester. Um, uh, there's a, he, he also suggests a memento mori in this month of November, it's good to have a, a remembrance of death. He, he suggests two means. He says the rosary is a, a good memento mori, a good reminder of death. Every time we pray the Hail Mary, we ask the Blessed Virgin Mary to pray for us now and at the hour of our death. Okay? So that helps to keep death close at hand. Um, in the Benedictine order, 
there, there's a custom in some uh, monasteries where monks are encouraged each day to dig a sh one shovel of their own grave. Okay, that that uh, that reminder of death uh, helps. Um, so, like a, a a good Benedictine, keep. That, that reminder of death close at hand. And, and so like we say, ultimately the question is, do we await the coming of the Messiah, the coming of the bridegroom, foolishly or wisely? Okay. And, 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 and the church, as we prepare for the, uh, like the end of the liturgical year, prepares us for that, that coming of Christ and, and wants us to prepare wisely for that coming. Christ.